Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to a Friday Favorites and Flops. Um, coming at you with some seriously purple hair this week. Um, most of my videos, well all of them for this week were not only pre-recorded, um, I did uh, my current makeup collection, but I also did that behind the camera, so um, this might be a little bit of a shock to you if you don't follow me on Instagram. But yes, I went back to the purple for a little bit um, and I will talk about what I used because it's definitely a favorite here in a second. Um, so we'll get to that. But yeah, I hope you guys all had a really fantastic week. Um, I had a really good week myself. It was very productive. I have been trying to pre-record so that I can get like a full week and a half ahead on YouTube. Um, I have, since it's the end of January coming up, I am needing to start work on my tax stuff. Um, I don't keep up with a lot of my behind the scenes business stuff for my floral business during the year, which Craig is constantly like on me about just like keeping up with QuickBooks and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I, don't, I like to make flowers. So um, I have a lot of catching up to do. So um, yeah, tax season is upon us. And if you own your own business, you know what a nightmare that is. It is the least favorite part of what I do. And honestly, every January and February, as I'm going through all of like my invoices and needing to like enter things and doing mileage and all that stuff. I'm just like, I don't think I want to keep doing this. This is such a nightmare. <laughs> It'd be so much easier just to like go work for someone else and get a W-2 and just call it a day. But our taxes are never going to be easy because Craig also owns two businesses as well. So it's just always going to be a freaking nightmare. So Anyway, I'm trying to like get ahead on YouTube so that um, I can keep my consistency because that like for some reason is really satisfying to me <laughs> to just like maintain my schedule. But anyway, I'm a weirdo like that. Also, I added a little table in the background here. So I've gotten some comments in the last probably couple of months from people that um, my background just bores them or some people feel really passionate about it and they hate my background um and here's the thing guys uh i have not done anything to this room we moved in this house in april it's a big house there's a lot of stuff that we have to fix and redo in this house it is not a new house um i still need to paint the rest of the downstairs there's, a, we need to redo a lot of the stuff outside. Like the lady that had the house before us lived here by herself and she really didn't do very much upkeep. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be redone. It's expensive. If you own a home, you know, owning a home can be expensive, especially if you need to fix things or like really redo things. So I have not gotten to the upstairs of the house yet at all. Um, this room is what it is when we moved in. I have not painted it. The ceiling needs to be painted in here. There's some cracks that need to be repaired. There's about 150 holes just in this room alone that need to be repaired. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. All the woodwork needs to be refinished. We need to repaint the doors because those have quite a bit of damage on them. There's just a lot of stuff. But it's going to take some time for me to get to this space. So. No, there is no fancy background, um, but hopefully the table with a candle, a la every other YouTuber, <laughs> satiates those of you who are stressed by the lack of visual interest behind me. Yeah? No? Yeah, probably not. But um, I will get to this room in due time, and when I do, I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm, I, have, I have kind of a vision for what I want, um, but it's, I need money. I need to, I need more weddings to come my way so I can pay for all of this because it's not cheap. So anyway, in the meantime, let's talk about my favorites. I actually have to grab the hair stuff out of my empties video because out of my empties, not video, but bag here. Um, because I just finished this. Uh, this is the Caracolor Color Plus Conditioner in the shade purple, which is how I got this. 
I love this stuff, you guys. I believe that the Ulta Leader sale is still happening today on Friday. It, it might be the last day of it. I think, it's, I think it ends the 26th. Please don't quote me on that. Um, I'm gonna link the liter size of this down below because I think it's a much better deal, especially during the sale. But I love this stuff. Um, they give you a nice little chart here on the back that tells you like, you know, you need probably this many washes to achieve this depth right here. You guys know that my hair is naturally gray, so it really kind of grabs color. So this is just about four washes right here, and then I'm kind of maintaining it like every two to three days now. Um, I like it. I feel like this doesn't damage my hair. It leaves my hair really soft, leaves it full of body. Um, it cleans my scalp really well. When I work out, my head gets kind of sweaty, which is gross. Um, so when I wash my hair the next morning, it's really nice to like be able to take this all the way up into my scalp and really scrub around. Um, it just is fantastic. This is really good stuff. It's gentle. Um, it's pretty readily available at Ulta. In store, they only carry these 12 ounce sizes, but online you can get the liters. And if you want to maintain something like this, you're going to have to use it fairly frequently because it does wash out. It is a washout product. The purple tends to grab on my hair a lot because it's naturally gray. Also, if your hair is lifted at all, it will grab the um, the pigment will grab onto your hair a little bit better as well. Um, and for me, with these, like you can kind of see this white area here. Um, this holds on to the pigment even longer. So. But usually with a couple of washes with a good like clarifying type shampoo, it comes out pretty quickly. So I like the Hosk Charcoal Clarifying Shampoo. I will link that down below. I will link all of this stuff down below for you. So anyway, love that. Also with my hair, I was able to grab the Amica Vault Color Lock Leave-In um, Conditioner through Octoly. So I applied to Amika to be able to review this product. Um, I also have a mask Monday coming up this coming Monday with two Amika masks. So um, make sure you're subscribed so you get notified of that video. But yeah, this is this is great, you guys. Um, I did not pay for this. As you guys know, when I order from Octoly, I basically apply to the brand. Um, I ask to be able to review the product. They either say, yes, we'll send it to you or no, we won't for whatever reason. Um, so I don't pay for it, but Octoly never requires like a positive review to like stay on the platform. So it's just, it's honest reviews, which is what I love about Octoly. But so I really like this, you guys, especially with helping to maintain this color. I think that it definitely protects my hair. So this actually has, um, UV filters and antioxidants. So it does a really good job of making my hair feel not only soft and hydrated and moisturized, but it also kind of helps with, you know, being outside. Um, the sun can definitely fade hair color significantly. We're obviously in winter here. It's been pretty cloudy here in Oregon. We've had quite a bit of rain in the last couple weeks, but still, anytime that you're outside, you the UV rays can affect your hair color. So I really like that this has the UV filters. Um, I really just love Amika as a brand overall. I have had some really good luck with their intense hair masks. Um, I really like this product. There's a hair mousse that I used from them. Um, that I really liked as well, a good volumizing mousse. If you have never tried anything from Amika, I can definitely highly recommend them. They're a cruelty-free hair brand. Their stuff smells really good too. It, it kind of has a very perfumey, sweet floral scent. Most of the stuff in their line does, but it's really pleasant. Um, I don't know, I would highly recommend checking this out. If you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner, um, this is one worth checking out and it's pretty affordable in terms of like high-end hair care. I just spray this in my hair. Actually, I don't spray it in my hair. I spray it in the palm of my hand um, because it does come out a little bit like thicker. It's not like a mist. It's like a um, like you're spraying a really thin lotion. Um, so I get like about 15 pumps into the palm of my hand, rub it around, and then like work it through my hair. That's how I found it works best for me, but it's amazing. I really like it and it also makes my hair smell really good, so that's a bonus for me. Um, 
I'm wearing a new necklace today. I've actually been wearing this necklace for a while. Um, I, uh, a long time ago, received a Julie box. Um, I think I got one or two of them, and then I didn't get any. So um, the brand reached out, however, and asked me if they could send me another one of the Julie boxes. So um, their products do arrive in these really nice little um, like bags here. And they also gave me a code, so I'm just going to share the code with you guys. Um, it's just Melanie. I believe it's all capital letters, and it'll actually get you 50% off your first box. So if you're interested, um, definitely um, use that code. It's not an affiliate code. I don't get anything. Um, so yeah, if you have never ordered from them, I really like this box, you guys. Um, the total value of the January box was $90. Um, I will link it down below. I, I think the January box will still be available. So this is what is in the box. This Terry necklace here. It's really, really nice. I, I kind of want a necklace like this with real diamonds at some point in my future. Um, but that's going to be a few years down the road because we're pouring our money into the house, like I said. <laughs> so, but I love this style of necklace. So like that kind of diamond circle with just like a really simple band, not band, but um, like chain. I love this. I do have ones very similar to this with pink sapphires that my mom gave to me. I love to wear it on special occasions, but I feel like a necklace like this that is dainty is really great for every day, especially for like work appropriate. Um, jewelry and I think it's really really nice quality I've actually worn this in the shower a few times you're not really supposed to because this isn't like this isn't um, like gold or anything like this is you know it's more like costume type jewelry um, so you shouldn't wear it in the shower but I have it but it's come out just fine so the other things that are in this month's box are the Sydney bracelet I really like this bracelet, but this would definitely be like a special occasion bracelet for me. Um, it's very heavy. It's really pretty. So there, I, and I love the color. It's gray. Of course, I'm going to love it. I love anything black or gray, <laughs> but it's really, really nice. And I love silver. So I'm really fond of this. And then I really like the earrings too. I haven't worn the earrings yet because I'm still wearing the earrings that Craig got me for Christmas this year. Um, these are the Diana and um, these are just really nice little dainty like dangle earrings very basic very simple but all of this stuff coordinates together really nicely and there is a free gift that Stella is dying to get her hands on so I'm gonna I'm gonna let Stella put this on her backpack it is one of these um, like little faux fur pom-pom keychain things uh, she saw this and she was like, oh my God, all my friends at school have this. Can I have it? And I was like, yes, but let mommy show it in the video first. So anyway, it's really nice and soft. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, this necklace is definitely my favorite thing out of the box. So it's kind of nice to have something like this because I feel like the size of it makes it look kind of realistic but it's definitely not. <laughs> Someday I will own the real thing, but in the meantime, it's kind of nice to be able to have this. So anyway, a big thank you to Julie Box for sending this. That is awesome. So, and yeah, the code is uh, just my name um, and it'll get you 50% off your first box. So if you're interested in any of these things, that's the January box. Okay, um, let's do some skincare. Um, still loving my Drunk Elephant A Passione um, Retinol Cream. So good, you guys. Um, I am using that almost every single night of the week now. Um, it's very, very effective. Um, again, I will do an in-depth review. I just want to use it for like a solid like seven, eight weeks before I do my review. So it's still a few weeks out, but I love that stuff, you guys. And I've been putting the B Hydra uh, Intensive Hydration Gel over top. This is really good too, you guys. It is great to pair with the retinol. If you have much drier skin, this is probably not gonna be the best moisturizer for you. If you're looking for one from Drunk Elephant, the Lala Retro is fantastic for super dry skin. 
And then they also have their Proteini. Um, my friend Steph over at Flourish XO just got a sample of the Proteini um, and she loves it for her super dry skin. But for me and my oily skin, this is fantastic. I've even been using a little bit of this during the day, not a whole lot. Um, but there is dryness that can happen with retinols. So just kind of prepare yourself for that. But this negates that a little bit um, and just makes my skin feel soft and it just looks pretty. It helps negate that dryness and that flakiness that can happen. This is just really, really good stuff. I do have a larger size of this. So um, yeah, I just, I enjoy this a lot. Um, let's do lips first. Normally lips come last for me. Um, I've been wearing, so this is the combo that I have on today. And this is what I've really been kind of using a lot this week. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is like the prettiest, just neutral nude color ever i feel like this is a great shade for like everybody um it's got a fair amount of brown in it but not too much to where it's too warm it's still a nice like rosy nude with brown um and then i've been topping it with the color pop ultra glossy lip in here's to you this is really great um I really do like this gloss a lot. It's like six bucks, so it's not a huge investment. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It just adds, I feel like, a little bit more dimension because uh, Pillow Talk is a matte. It's a very comfortable matte formula, but I do like gloss. So anyway, love that. Blush this week, it's been these two. I cleaned out so many of my blushes, you guys, and I'm really proud of myself, but... Um, I've really narrowed down my blushes quite a bit and what I'm finding is that I am really liking my high-end blushes way more than my drugstore blushes these days. Two that I love um, in terms of the formula is the Air Blush. This is Flesh and Fantasy. This is from Marc Jacobs and then you guys know that I love the Hourglass. There's just something about this formula that looks so pretty on my skin. It doesn't accentuate my pores but yet it gives me a glow to my cheeks. Um, this is Dim Infusion which is a really nice peach for like spring and summer which we're obviously not in right now but I just love those two um, in terms of my eyes um, so this is kind of what I've been using for most of this week um, I've been focusing on using the Lorac Pro one because this is a really really great palette you guys I, I know a lot of you probably already have this I wouldn't say like if you don't have it go run out and get it but I mean, if, if you want it, it is a really great palette. There is fallout with Lorac shadows. Some people have major beef with that. I don't, I just brush it away. Um, it's not like a huge deal to me. I wear powder foundation, so things do just kind of brush away a little bit better um, after I'm done you know, applying all of my eyeshadow, but this is fantastic. I'm hitting major um, pan here on the cream shade. Um, you can see that silver there. It's always nice to see that in a palette, but this is just fantastic. And then um, I've been pairing it with the Bridal Satin from Viseart. By the way, have you guys seen their new purple palette that's coming out? It is going to be an exclusive with Beautylish. It's supposed to be released in February. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting my hands on that right away. It is just the most beautiful selection of purple shadows. Um, but anyway, let's get back to Bridal Satin. Um, I love this. I love this palette. I'm so glad that I picked this up. This was kind of a random. I was going to wait to get this until December when Muse Beauty Pro does their like 212 pan palette special again, but I couldn't wait. I love these Viseart eyeshadows and this is gorgeous. Um, I really love this shade right here. This is what I have on my lid today. It's just a beautiful taupe. Um, I also really like the purple that is in here. Um, just all of these are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what kind of sorcery they put into their eyeshadow formulation, but it's amazing. I can use a brush. I can use my fingers if I want to intensify. Um, but the fact that I can use a brush on these like shimmery, pearly satin shades and they actually transfer like that onto my lid is amazing. Also, I'm starting to talk fast because I realize this video is getting long, so pardon Pardon the, blah, 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 blah. Um, the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten. This is so great, but here's the thing. I find this applicator to be just 
way one there's way too much product that comes off and two like it doesn't really work for my eye shape so what I've been doing is just taking a teeny tiny brush and um, taking the product off of here and just using that to apply it to my lid this is the Lux precise shader from Zoeva um, there's other brands that make tiny little brushes like this but um, if you have trouble using these I would suggest getting a tiny brush and just really like focusing this product where you want it I really like it on the inner part of my like actual eyelid um, I find that once this dries it doesn't transfer and it doesn't crease it's just wonderful and these just really are some of the best liquid eyeshadows I feel like they're totally worth the splurge Mascara. So I was at Target earlier this week with Stella um, and I picked up the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash. This is one of their like cheapest mascaras, but dang, it's good. I used to use this back in the day. Um, it is a super traditional brush. I actually bent mine a little bit so that it has a curved shape. This formula is great. It is very thickening. It is not lengthening. It can be a little bit clumpy, so I do use a um, comb. I'm, where's my comb? I don't know, I can't find it. I have a lash, a metal lash comb that I use to um, brush or comb through my lashes. But it once I like run it through there once, it's good to go. But this is just a really good basic mascara. Plus I think it's like $4.99, it's super cheap. Um, I like the very black option. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic. And um, I just, I love that CoverGirl is cruelty free. That just honestly makes me super, super happy. So love that. And then my meh product of the week, the Biosense, uh, Squalane and Bamboo Deodorant. Okay, here's the thing that I have come to learn. I am just, I'm not a natural deodorant person. I know a lot of you were able to convert. I just, I can't do it. When I work out at the gym earlier, and I, earlier this week and I had this on, I could totally smell myself. Um, now the thing is I didn't reapply before going to the gym because I just get really busy during the day and the last thing on my mind is oh I should go reapply my deodorant but that's the thing with natural deodorants in me they work pretty great for the first part of the day but if I don't reapply I start to stink so I am just not going to be the person that is going to remember to reapply my deodorant at noon I get ready at like 5 45 in the morning um, by noon I need to reapply a natural deodorant. And I just don't think about it. So I just don't think that these are going to be for me. I'm gonna finish using this because I paid for it. I actually bought it in this really great kit that I no longer have the box for. Um, I still highly recommend the kit. Um, you can try this for yourself if you get the kit, but you get like a full size of the squalane oil and a brush for like 40 bucks, which is an amazing deal for this Biosense stuff. But um, yeah, it was just, it's good to be able to try. It is definitely a hydrating deodorant. It did like soothe my underarms. It has the squalane oil in it. Um, it does smell a bit mannish to me. Um, it, bamboo is what I would describe the fragrance as. You know what it smells like? It smells like walking into like a spa. That bamboo lemongrass type scent that is just wafting in the air in most spas. That's what this smells like. Um, it's fine, it's nice, but it, it, to me, is a little bit more masculine than what I would like in a deodorant. Um, so yeah, I just, I can't say that I love it. I can't say that I'm gonna keep trying the natural deodorants because I am not gonna be a reapplier. And I also don't wanna stink at the gym. There are some people at the gym that I go to that have a pretty strong body odor and it is really hard to walk through that cloud <laughs> and um, I don't want to be one of those people that when other people walk past they go oh my gosh <laughs> and it's not that bad I am NOT like the smelliest person on earth but like I feel like if I even get like a waft of it then other people can probably smell it too and I just don't want to like put that out there so I will finish it but I don't love this. The native smelled really good, but again, I needed to reapply it and I'm just not gonna do that. So I'm gonna call it quits with this because it's just not gonna work for me. So there's that. So yeah, there you have it. I think I just got something in my eye too. Ugh. 
is it a hair or an eyelash? Something. Um, anyway, I'm going to take my crazy purple hair and um, I'm going to upload this video. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Take care.